Hello guys, welcome to my channel Dreamy Delights by Sidra. Today I'll be showing you how I made these yummy hot cocoa bombs and geometric hearts. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. We start by taking 100 grams of white chocolate and our molds in a heart shape and round shape. I melted the chocolate in the microwave with an interval of 15-15 seconds till it's runny and now I'm going to spread it out in my heart shape mold. Uh, take as much as you need, you don't need to overload the mold but uh, spread it out especially to the edges because we need the edges to be strong in order to stick the two hearts together. After I do this, I am going to take some baking paper and remove the excess by turning my mold upside down and just uh, letting the excess white chocolate go down. Same procedure with the round molds as well. So here again, I am going to put as much as I need in my round molds. And now I'm dripping off the excess white chocolate. I did the same with the heart shaped mold as well. And now I'm doing that to the round shaped mold as well. After it drips off, you can clean up the edges as, as much as you can. And you're going to set it in the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes for the second coat. Now I'm applying the second coat. I will not be taking too much chocolate, just a little bit to strengthen the corners and see if it's not that thin or see-through because otherwise it's going to break when I take it out of the mold. We'll do the same to the heart shaped mold as well. And keep it back in the refrigerator for another 5 to 10 minutes so that it gets firm. Now I'm going to add some pink chocolate color to my remaining white chocolate. And uh, make sure that you use a chocolate based color, any gel color or other color will not work and your chocolate will split if you do that. So make sure that you use a chocolate based color. So I'm just mixing up this pink color in my chocolate and I'll make some more heart shapes and some more round shaped uh, cocoa bombs. Here again I'm going to repeat the procedure with this pink colored chocolate. I'm going to make some more heart shaped molds and some more round shaped molds. This is my first coat. I'm going to do the same with my round molds and as you can see I've removed the excess chocolate and I've given two, two coats of chocolate to my pink color as well. Now to the remaining pink chocolate I'm adding some red color and I'm going to just darken up the color a little bit more to give a variety to my cocoa bombs in terms of color and then I can use it for sprinkling and for the top drizzling as well. So now just again I'm going to make some more red colored hearts and rounds. Keep following the same procedure as I told you. It's very simple and just focus on those edges. Now 
is a time to demold all the hearts. As you can see, it's absolutely smooth and shiny. I'm going to remove the whites first and then the pinks. It's very easy to remove. Just don't rush and delicately move the mold outwards and delicately pick out your chocolates. There you go. Two more to go. Here we go with the pinks. So pretty, aren't they? And now the reds. You could go for a deeper red also if you want to add more color to your chocolate. You can go for any color you want. Now I've taken a heated pan and I'm going to move lightly my round chocolate over it. Not pressing too hard just to smooth out the edges and just add any cocoa, hot cocoa of your choice and marshmallows, sprinkles, bunties, anything that you like or you want to add inside it. I'm adding hot cocoa and uh, marshmallows and then I'm going to again uh, pick up my second sphere and I'm going to rub it on my pan and put it back on top of the first sphere and remove my hand slightly over it in order to smooth the edges. See it's absolutely smooth. Now I'm going to do the same procedure with my heart shape as well. I've smoothed the edges. Now I've added the cocoa and my marshmallows and after this I will be uh, closing the heart shape with the other piece. There we go. Just lightly run your hands over it and it's done. If there are any gaps, you can just use the same chocolate to close them and seal them properly. Make sure there are no gaps and your chocolate is totally sealed. And I'm going to do the same with the third one as well. You can uh, use different types of cocoa, different types of flavors, different types of uh, fillings that you want for it. Here I'm just showing you the basic kind and then you can do all the varieties you want. Moving on, now I'll close my pink hearts and my red hearts in the same way. Now is the time to decorate. You can be as creative as possible. I've just uh, contrasted the color of the drizzle. Uh, on white, I'm doing a pink drizzle and I'm going to add some small pink sprinkles, some hard sprinkles. I've taken different kinds of sprinkles to add all over it and decorate it. See how pretty. Now with the heart one also, I'm doing a different style. I'm doing a center drizzle and then I'll be adding slightly bigger sprinkles to this one. You can use glitter also. You can uh, use chocolate based gold color, silver color. And you can do the same uh, procedure in brown chocolate as well, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. You can use any kinds of chocolate with it. I just want to grab one big heart and place it right there. There you go. Done. So now you know. You can do more contrast. Here I'm doing a slightly darker red on top of white, adding hearts.
and now the remaining pieces the red ones you can also fill cake in them actually in two of these i also did uh, a cake filling red velvet cake with buttercream frosting and uh, those could be your breakable hearts There we go. Wasn't that simple and easy? And so pretty. Wouldn't you like to surprise your loved ones with this beautiful hearts and hot cocoa bombs? All you have to do is immerse them in hot milk or hot water and enjoy the hot cocoa drink. It's an absolute favorite in my house. Do try it out and let me know in the comments how you like this video. Here I'll also show you how the breakable hearts look like. So I break it in half and it's filled with cake. What a nice surprise. There you go. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.